Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Mori Sashley and Hikaru Nakamura. This is the game from United States Championship 2003. Mori Sashley had white pieces and he started with e4. Nakamura played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on a4, defending, and Nakamura played a6, neither of variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, b5, threatening b4 and winning the pawn. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Bishop to e7, unpinning. Queen to f3, developing the queen and white is also ready to castle queen side. Queen to b6, attacking the knight, and Morris actually castled the queen side. Knight from b to d7, rook from h to e1. This is the my line, seen many times on high level, and the most played move now is castling. Kingside. The Kamura played h6. If black castles kingside, this move would backfire. For example, bishop would go to e3 and then g4 and g5 are coming. It is white to move. Morris actually played e5. Not only attacking the knight on f6 but the rook on a8. Bishop to b7 attacking the queen. Queen to h3 pinning the pawn, so if a pawn takes bishop, queen takes rook. d takes on e5. It is white to move. How should white continue? This is a critical position of the game. What would you do? Morris Ashley played very brave move, sacrificing the knight and trying to get black king, which didn't castle. Will Nakamura survive the attack? Pawn takes knight, bishop takes on e6, rook to d8, defending the knight, white to move, what would you do? Morris Ashley continued with very strong move. Rook takes knight on d7. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes on f6. And if bishop takes bishop, bishop takes on d7 check. Nakamura played rook to d6. Queen to h5 check. King to d8. Bishop takes bishop check. King takes bishop. Queen takes on e5, king to d8. We have reached another critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do? Well, I'll give you two moves. Knight to d5 and bishop to d5. Which one is better and why? Morris Ashley played knight to d5. Is this the move that you would play too? Not the strongest move. Stronger was bishop to d5. And after bishop takes bishop, knight takes on d5 attacking the queen. After queen to c5, queen takes on g7 attacking the rook on h8. And let's say that black would continue with the rook takes knight, then queen takes rook check, king to c7, and white is three pawns up, should be winning. Okay, let's return to our game. Ashley played knight to d5. Bishop takes knight, 
bishop takes bishop queen to c7 f4 it appears that white lost momentum rook to d7 queen to f5 queen to c5 pinning the bishop bishop to e6 how should black continue queen takes queen black to move black play the move and white resigned can you guess the move this is the move white resigned rook is under attack how should white continue one line goes like this queen to e5 defending the rook then check king to b1 queen to d1 check rook takes queen rook takes rook check mate interesting isn't it to have a winning position and to lose the game it happened to me once too <laughs> did something like that happen to you too let us know and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.